Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make these 3D style iPad graphics and add photos inside them and animate them directly in PowerPoint. So let's jump into it. As always, the first thing we'll do is go to File, New, Blank Presentation, right click, Layout and Blank. And now we're going to go to the Drawing section and choose Rectangle, Rounded Corners and just click anywhere. If we right click on this and choose Format Shape, then go to the Size and I'm going to make this 16 centimeters by 13 centimeters. Then I'm going to choose to fill it with black and give it no outline. And then use this little yellow dot here to adjust the rounded corners to suit. That looks about right. And I'm just going to quickly paste in the images I used. And I'll show you how you can set these up so they go perfectly inside the image without squashing them or stretching them. So firstly, we'll duplicate this shape by pressing Ctrl D. Just going to fill that in white so we know what we're working with. I'm going to align both of these together and then I'll click on the white one and I'm going to hold down Ctrl and Shift to size it. You can stop wherever you think the bezel on the iPad graphic looks good. So I think about there is good. And now, because these rounded corners will be slightly different, I'm going to pick up the yellow dot and drag it a little bit in. Yep, I think that looks good. And now let's get the image in there. So we'll go onto the image that I pasted in. I'll press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. And there's our image. If I drag this over the top, we can size it down to how we want it to look inside. And now I'm going to right click and choose crop. And just use these little black handles to bring this up to crop it to the right place for the frame. This will stop it stretching because sometimes you can have widescreen images and they would stretch a lot. In this case, it's a portrait image, but we still want to make it look as good as possible without stretching it. So now I'll click on the image, press Ctrl C and then delete. Now we click on the white, right click, format shape, picture or texture fill, and then choose clipboard. Great. We'll now select everything, Ctrl G to group, and now let's add the 3D rotation. So for this, we can go to Shape Options, Effects, 3D Rotation, and then we'll just pick anything from perspective down below, say the first one. And that just adds 45 degrees perspective. And now we can type in what we want in the X, Y, and Z rotation. And you can choose whatever you think looks good. In this case, I chose 315 for X, 323 degrees for Y, and 356 degrees for Z. And then we'll go to 3D Format, and I chose 20 depth. And for the depth color, I just chose a gray. Now we can size that down a little bit and position it as we wish. So there's our first one. And now I'll show you quickly how you can duplicate this and change the image in it quickly without having to recreate the graphics. So Control D after we click on this, we'll drag it into position. I would like this one to be 40. 323 is fine for that, and 343 for that. And you can see that's added a very strong lighting effect, which is the default, which has added a neutral three-point light. If we choose the one, one along balance, you can see that resets the lighting nicely to make it look more similar to this one. And we can also choose balance here. So now let's change the image in this one on the left. So we'll go to our images that I pasted in earlier, Control C, and then go back to our three dimensional iPad graphics. And then we'll need to click once as this is a group and then click a second time on the image. And now we've got the image selected. And you can see that by this line that's drawn around it. 
So now when we go to this little paint bucket icon, which is the fill options, we can choose clipboard and it will fill it with the image that I copied. Great. Quickly just draw in the background shape that I had, which was just a rectangle. Give it a shape fill, no outline, right click and choose center back. Nice. And now let's add the animation. And to do this, we'll click on the first slide, press Ctrl D, make sure that on the second slide, we go to transitions and choose morph, and then go back to the first slide and set our start points. And I'm gonna drag both of these up slightly, then change the rotation slightly, so they'll rotate as they animate in, which is a nice effect. And for this start, I'm gonna use 37, 312 and 346 and for this one 333x rotation 325 degrees y 345z and now when they play in you can see they'll rotate in a nice way as they reveal down and you can set the start rotation to anything that you like that looks good Finally, as a bonus, I'll show you how you can quickly change the images in these without having to recreate any of the graphics and without stretching the images that you choose. So I'm just going to paste in the images to save time. You can get any of these images you want by going to insert and then choosing pictures, stock images and typing in to the search bar what you're looking for. For these, I just typed portrait and chose the ones I liked. So I'm going to shift select to select our two slides and control D to duplicate them. And then from slide three, this is going to be our variation. So I'll change the fill color to a dark gray. And then we have two options here. And the quickest one I think is to keep the animation as it is and not have to redo that, but just change the pictures on both slides. So if we go to our picture that we want to use, press Ctrl C, click once, click again, go to fill and choose clipboard. Looking good. And then go to the end slide in this animation, click once, click a second time and do the same thing. And then we'll go to get our other image Go back to our first slide, click once, click a second time, fill clipboard. Looks great. And we'll just do it on the final one. Click once, click a second time, fill clipboard. Great. So there's our animation. We're just going to turn morph on the slide in between so you can see how it will even morph back to the new color variation and then we'll play from the start. That's great. So you can see how you can easily create graphics from scratch, display photos in them, and then easily change the photos when you've added things like animation and 3D rotation. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.